Good morning, everybody. My name is Peter Diamandis. I have the uh, honor of being the uh, chairman and CEO of the X Prize Foundation. Uh, I want to thank NASA for believing in prizes. It's, uh, uh, it's not every government organization that has stepped up to the, uh, to the podium to say we'll do prizes. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure that we had a chance out of the success of the Ansari X Prize to really bring about uh, working with Ken and, and, uh, and Doug and Andy, uh, the creation of the Centennial Challenges program. Uh, the Ansari X Prize also has given birth to a new generation of suborbital vehicles. And at the end of the day, it's really the U.S. government and NASA who will be the major beneficiaries of this kind of technology. And to the congressional folks listening, when you're looking at efficiency of government dollars, I can tell you that there is no more efficient mechanism to bring about innovation and breakthroughs than using incentive prizes. And I hope that this underutilized tool will be used more and more by NASA and by other government agencies to bring new players to uh, the marketplace, to allow for intelligent risk taking, and at the end of the day, to provide a new set of tools that can be make every government dollar go further and further. We really need to put space on Moore's law, and that's our objective, to allow for that exponential growth. So thank you to NASA and to Mike Griffin. I think Mike, Administrator Griffin, had it exactly on point. His points were, were right on. Uh, and for your willingness to, uh, to look and incentivize Centennial Challenge programs. I want to also thank uh, Northrop Grumman, our title sponsor, uh, who we went to first, and for logical reasons. I mean, the heritage that Northrop has with the Lunar Lander program, uh, their desire to see the new generation of lunar landers on the moon as soon as possible, uh, their commitment to, uh, to exploration and NASA in general, and the belief, the honest belief that this is the right thing for the country to do. So thank you, Carl, for you and your team for, uh, for making that happen for us. As you know, NASA put up the prize money, but it was uh, Northrop's good grace has allowed us to operate this competition effective and efficiently. Uh, to George uh, and, his, and his team, where are you, George? There you are. Uh, I, you know, I want to point out what really happened. We were supposed to be flying at Holloman, and 30 days, literally 30 days before the program, Holloman pulled out for a number of reasons, and we moved it to Las Cruces. And I called George one day and said, would you please, and he did. He and his team, many of whom are here, really worked midnight oil to change the uh, the well, the licensing and the safety evaluations and worked around the clock to allow us to pull us off, because we would not be here today if George uh, and the FAA team had not made it possible. So thank you for, for making that happen. Uh, to, uh, to John, who we'll hear from in a little bit, uh, we have a national and a global resource uh, in John and his amazing Armadillo team. Uh, they are uh, doing space in a completely new and novel fashion. And I think we need to be looking at how they're doing it. Literally, uh, pennies on the dollars and in a timeline that has not been seen before. And it's incredible. Uh, and they, if anybody's putting space on Moore's Law, uh, John and the team at Armadillo Aerospace are doing that. To our partners at New Mexico, who for three years have believed in us and have brought a huge amount of capital to allow us to create an event, thank you to New Mexico and to all the Lunar Lander teams uh, North of Grumman Lander teams, thank you for uh, for risking. Uh, to our chief judge, Bill Gaubatz, um, thank you for his efforts. Uh, as Mike Griffin mentioned, we do have something called the Google Lunar X Prize. I'm very honored to have Vint Cerf, the chief internet evangelist from Google, uh, here representing Google. And we have a vision of Moon 2.0, of how to make going to the moon exciting and fun and relevant to kids in high school, and junior high school, and college today, so that this is their vision and mission. When, the, when we go back to the moon with these Google Lunar X Prize teams, they'll be carrying the videos and messages, the dreams and aspirations of children around the world today. So um, as, as Administrator Griffin said, we have $1.65 million left on the table. Uh, we're going to hopefully see a lot of exciting flights taking place in 2009 and 2010. And uh, no one is more anxious to give away that money than I think the people in this room. So um, thank you all for that. And uh, uh, thank you for support of the X Prize and of the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge. <laughs>